Hello, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Your World on a Canvas. As I said before, I would go ahead and share information wherever I found it on how we as people of color could invest in ourselves. Take, for instance, this young man, Chameleon Air. It's been a while since you've heard of him. I think I remember a few years back how he decided to get into the tech industry, and I read some of his story. But to tell you the truth, I had not been paying attention. And to come full circle, because I am involved in some investments, his story has come up again. He is one of the prime people in, um, in America, people of color who are looking to invest in minority-founded startups, especially in the tech industry. So when you get a chance, I will put the link in for this um, particular video if you you know, when you when really want to hear his words instead of reading it. But he talks about a story where he walks into this, this tech um, conference and you have over 10,000 minority engineers and technologists in that area, whereas today people, you know, the powers that be say, oh, we can't find minority hires. We can't find minorities who are into startups and, and things like that. But it's not true. They knew we were always out there. In fact, we have always given them technologies, always. But the powers that be just didn't value us. Now we must value ourselves. That is why Chameleon Air is the person that you should follow. The name of this company is called Convos. It's a social media platform. I believe it's spelled C-O-N-B-O-Z. And with this platform, he's looking to invest in, in diverse minority-owned businesses. This is our time to shine. It's always been our time to shine. But when we as people do things like this young man, we just look at it and say, oh, okay, and we keep on walking instead of celebrating it and fully embracing it. We are letting our wealth go out the window. We must pay attention to young men like, like Chameleon here. Look at these companies, the startup competition he has, E40. Okay, look at it. He's, he is going to build things. He's building things. Look at, his, look at his partner from Shark Tank, Damon John. I'm sorry we've all seen him. It is time for us to invest in ourselves. This young man has done this for four years. Four years he has invested in his company, in his ideas, in his belief in us. When are the rest of us going to get on board and believe in ourselves and pour our hard-earned money, the money we, we earn from working for someone else to earn the majority of the money? Let's get into things like this. Look at his investments. His invest, look at it. Maker, Cruise, Ring, Lyft. These are all IPOs that he invested in. Take advantage. All you need is $50 at the most. I invested in um, this investment club called Angels and Entrepreneurs. I'll put the link at the bottom. They have various levels. I choose a $79 level. That is within my reasonable um, level of comfort, and this is what I'm using. And so with Angels and Entrepreneurs, now, Mind you, this is, I never thought I would have money. <laughs> well, actually money had me. I was chasing my tail. Now I understand that I was not treating money well. I have invested, I believe, in three different companies already. With angels and entrepreneurs, I have invested in this minority company called Fleet, which is a truck driving company. I've, in, I've, I've, I've also invested in our uh, a company that works with um, biodegradable materials for feminine products. Okay, so and plus they're reinvesting into education and teaching young ladies how 
to to understand that the bot that all your bodily functions are natural, not to be ashamed, and not to let our cultures make us feel that it's evil. Because a lot of immigrants do that. You know, I had to learn everything I know on my own because our parents didn't know how to tell us. So we have to break that cycle. So that's why I invested in Sparkle. That's one. That's another one. Another one I invested in was with this young lady, the entrepreneur, 16 years old. Her and her mother developed her sauce at the age of eight. It's called Sienna sauce. I invested $50 in it. This young lady is only 16 years old. See? Building wealth. Another company I invested in, um, shoot, what's the other company with them? It escapes me at the moment, but do you see I'm building my wealth? I've also opened up a Charles Schwab account. Now, as I told you, I've just recently started all this. The month is just now over now. And I've always been saying that I don't have any money. But with this information I've gathered and continue to gather and continue to learn how to create wealth for myself, I discovered I was wasting just about a thousand dollars a month on nothing. And it seems like, I mean, it holds me in awe anyway. So to let you know, I have, I have invested almost a thousand dollars already. And this is by, by paying attention to my money, not buying frivolous things that I don't need. I realize that all my wants are taken care of. So how am I going to make my money work for me? Instead of spending on stuff, you know, buy, buying junk food, eating out, I took the money I would have done that with and I reinvested in myself and my future. And so this is what Chameleonaire is doing. He's a VC investor and he's diversified his portfolio, his own personal portfolio. So these are the things that we as people of color must invest in. As I stated in, as before, I will go ahead and place a couple links in the bottom for you. It's up to you. Now, I, like I said, I'm not licensed. I, I'm just doing things that I feel is right for me. And this is information I'm sharing with you as to how I approach it. If you choose to do it, that's on you. Because I'm not telling you to do these things. I'm just sharing with you how I go about creating my wealth. And now, I am, I paid my bills already for the week. I have recirculated the rest of my money and I am so happy to see even, you know, I don't have physical money in my hand right now. I could still go if I wanted to and buy something that I wanted, but I'm not into wants right now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not into wants. I need to learn how to divest myself from this machinery called the nine to five job. And so I'm learning. I'm learning so that I can go ahead and be the person that I want to be. I am learning because in the end, I just want to see the world. You know, we used to be able to travel the world freely without worrying about, oh, do I have a dollar? This is how this world we built. We decided, oh, let's go. We'll pack up our stuff. According to the Beverly Hills, because we'll pack up our stuff and move to Beverly Hills. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to move to Beverly Hills, to tell you the truth. I just want the world to be my canvas. So I could go wherever I want without worry of someone killing me because of the color of my skin. Without worry that I don't have enough to, to, to pay. I have to like, save for months and months in order to just enjoy a, a, even if it's a staycation, that's not living. Because in that world, I'm living to work for someone else's wealth. Do you understand that when you go to a nine to five, you are working for somebody else. You are pouring all your energy, all those 30 to 40 hour work weeks saying, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Why, 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 blah, 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 blah the same, same excuses. Because that same path, that trodden path, that downtrodden path is where everybody's going. 
I don't want to go where everybody's going. I've never been that person. I think that's why, you know, people say I'm aggressive, that, you know, I'm a rebel. I just follow the beat of my own drum. I've done this since I was a kid. Mind you, I came to this country at seven years old. Before that, I started this lone wolf thing without even realizing it. Let me share a story with you. So I'm from a small island. At six years old, I went off on my own in carnival. Didn't return that till that evening. Nobody knew where I was. All I knew was I, I wanted to go listen to pan music. If you don't know what pan music is, P-A-N, music. If you don't know what that is, look it up on the internet. It's the most beautiful thing. And when they play during carnival, you just, it just vibrates. The pan, the still pan vibrates through your soul. It, it just does something. It makes me feel so alive. It's always done that. And so I followed it. And so I come home, here I am. Oh, I'm so happy. Six years old. I got to listen to my favorite music, but I did not understand that other people, my parents were looking for me. So yes, I got my butt tapped. That's okay. But again, the lone wolf mentality has always been in me. It's always been awake and alive. And no one else has dimmed that for me. Yes, I have wandered off that path, but it's always been a calling and so I have been wandering my whole life. And, and now I've finally learned to follow the calling of the wolf. The wolf sings out to me. I cannot be where other people are. I get bored so, so easily. The tried and true does not belong in my vocabulary. I'm here to go through all the trials and tribulations it's gonna take for me to succeed. I'm not gonna fail myself. So when we say, oh, because this is the, this person did this to me, no, you allowed it to affect you. Claim ownership for your own feelings. No one does anything to you. People have enrollment conversations with you. They enroll you in the possibility of doing things. So if you want to, if they want to steal and they don't want to get caught and they enroll you in the conversation as a young man or woman to go steal something, how fun it is. But think about this, how fun it is when you know you have the stuff, yeah, you're enjoying it, but in the back of your mind, oh shoot. Every time someone knocks on the door and knock, you don't recognize your thing and the cops come to get you. That is not a life to live. That is not wealth. That is living in a closet, a closeted space where you cannot celebrate your accomplishment. Now, if you want to live in the darkness and going out of jail for somebody, Say, yeah, I didn't, I'm not a snitch. No. Nah. You have a record. Well, the person that you didn't snitch for, that you didn't snitch for, are they coming to visit you in jail? And if they are, remember, they check your record. So if you already have a record, that person is going to come in jail with you. So they're not going to come visit you. So think about it and say, yeah, I took a fall for my boy. I took a hit for my boy. Your life is your life. So why are you taking hits for other people? Come on, people. Let's share the path of the wolf. Go for it.